So hi everybody, uh, welcome to uh, my channel and today I'm going to show you how to calibrate uh, this 4 ESC uh, for a quadcopter. So for calibration uh, of course you need a, a, a receiver. Okay, in my case I'm using a Flysky uh, FSI6 and with the receiver FSEA6B. So, first step is to uh, bind the receiver to the transmitter. To do this, you will need a binder. So, the binder has to be plugged in the uh, band um, uh, channel that is here. Okay, put it here. And you need also to power up. Uh, your receiver and I will, I'm going to use this uh, kind of batteries so uh, 4 times 1.5 volt okay you have to uh, follow uh, this range for example in my, my, my receiver can accept 4 to 6.5 volt okay so first of all you need uh, to uh, create or to select a model that you are going to use so you go to, you go, you press OK, you go to System, System, Model, Select, you press again, uh, OK. Uh, then, OK, we use randomly uh, Model 5, for example, and then to select the Model 5, you have to press for uh, two seconds, uh, Cancel. Then you hear this beep, and it means that you select the model. You can go back, and you can see that you have the Model 5. Okay, so everything is done now. You now have to power up the receiver. Uh, be careful, huh? uh, the ground is uh, at the bottom, in the middle is a plus, and on the top is a signal. So you can plug any, anywhere uh, on channel, uh, just plug here in channel 1. This uh, flash uh, LED. Uh, sh this means that uh, the receiver is ready for binding. You have to press now uh, here uh, this uh, binding button and press power. And now you bind your transmitter and you can see also that uh, to the receiver and you can see also that you have this 5.4 volt uh, which come from the receiver. Okay, cool. So stop everything and now I'm going to show you how to calibrate the AC uh, what you want to do is to sh tell to this guy that uh, when you are the throttle down this means that you have uh, zero and this is full throttle so to do this you need to calibrate to tell him what is the minimum from your total and what is the maximum from the total but first of all, you need to know where is the throttle on your receiver, on your uh, transmitter. So again, you go uh, now to uh, uh, not on the system, but you go to uh, function setup. So you just press here and here to select. Okay. Then you go to display. You want to display uh, which channel is acting on the throttle, and you can see that this is channel three. So now we know. Uh, that uh, the throttle is channel 3. So we are going to plug uh, the ESC to uh, channel 3. So the signal is on the top, so it's like this. You need to power up your, um, your um, receiver. You have to go here to uh, VCC as the same channel that where you bind and now it's flashing but slowly it means that it's looking for the transmitter you power on the transmitter okay but now for calibration you need also a battery here a battery and what you have to do it's full it's put throttle maximum you have to hear a sound from your receiver motor When the sun is finished, you go down with the throttle. 
and this means that now you have also another sound from the minimum and this means that your, your OSC is now calibrated and you can do it for, oh, for each of them okay again with this guy maximum throttle Okay, this is down, remove, next one, Perfect. And the last one. Oh. Sorry, I almost forgot. Yeah, well done so I'm going to show you also in the next video as you can see here it starts to be a little bit boring that you have to uh, calibrate one by one and uh, what I want to show you in the next video it's you can calibrate for example when you have quadcopter or hexacopter uh, every, every OSC in the same time when you uh, build something like this as the same you will plug this in the channel 3, in my case, for throttle, and uh, all the USC can be calibrated, plug it here and calibrate in the same time. So, next video I will show you how to do it.